Hey there, welcome to Something About Tabletop. This is going to be last in the series of how to run a Shadowrun job. This is going to be number five, the cleanup, both figuratively and literally. Now, the cleanup is pretty much, well, one, they've done the mission, now they literally need to clean up the mess that they made if they made too much mess. This depends on the job itself, and then they need to go claim their cash from the Johnson. That's it. And as well, if need be, buy some gear at the end, uh, tie up some knots that they created throughout the mission. Maybe throughout the mission they talk to their fixers and now they owe them some money. Maybe throughout the mission they... Maybe throughout the mission they made more enemies than they expected and they, and they need to run now. This is where you play out all of this. Now, also you can do downtime. I usually do downtime at the start of a session, but you can indeed do downtime at the end of a session. It's really up to you. And this is also depends on the cleanup itself, can also be the meat where they get their money. Because the mission could have been a sting, and the mission where they get the money is where they get shot at. So maybe you need to, you know, run a little combat encounter or, or whatever the encounter may be um, for them to get their money. And also, there's always, always running a uh, clean-up encounter of them going and getting their money, just to make the players think something's up. And this always ends hilariously when they, when there's really no problem, and they're all freaking their shit. <laughs> I mean, you know you're playing Shadowrun right when you're making your, uh, making your players all paranoid, so there's that. Anyway, so, I mean, in terms of how much they should get paid, we've already gone over that, and how much karma they get, how much experience, depends on the mission itself. Pretty much, they always get about one to two karma, one mission for, one extra karma for completing the mission, two for completing all objectives, and then divide the highest dice pool they versed by six, and then slap that in as well. That's if you believe that they should get that much karma. Uh, you round down or up, it's really up to you. And it's also how much karma you want to give the players. You may have given karma rewards to players for roleplay throughout the mission. I don't know. And maybe you should. I mean, some people give edge rewards. I usually give karma rewards. Uh, and maybe this mission itself meant a lot to the players. Maybe it was them finally getting revenge on someone that fucked them over earlier. Give them some extra karma. You know, give them more reward for what they did. Whether it be monetary or karma, it's completely up to you. And I mean, once everything's done, I mean, this is where you recap the session, this is where the players recap what happened, this is where the players do the downtime, and it's, I mean, there's really not much to say about the cleanup, and this is where I myself am going to clean up this little series and just finalise it. I mean, all I can say is that Shadowrun really changes on who you are as a DM, and I've left a lot of stuff open, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Because how I run Shadowrun may be completely different to how someone else runs Shadowrun. And like I've said before, Shadowrun really accentuates this difference between DMs. Someone may run the Matrix a little bit differently as someone may run the Matrix. Someone else. Someone may run Magic differently. Uh, everyone has their own unique styles of GMing Shadowrun. This may be rules vagueness. This may be people interpreting things a little bit differently. And thus, maybe some things may be challenging, more challenging than others, depending on how they DM it. So, it's completely up to you how much you want to give your players in terms of karma and money anyway, in the end of the day, because it's your campaign. If you want a low-powered campaign, generally keep everything a little bit lower. I mean, or, say, if you're in a campaign where money's too much of a, th not too much of a thing, or your players don't need money because of their characters, I don't know, you've got a party full of technomancers, give them more karma. There's always the uh, rule, I don't use this, it's run by Shadowrun Missions and a few other online Shadowrun uh, groups where you can actually convert karma into money and money into karma. 2,000 uh, new yen equals 1 karma and 1 karma equals 2,000 new yen. You can do this conversion rate as well. I personally don't. I'm not too sure why I don't, I just don't like it because I feel that it cheapens it and it makes it easier to earn karma or money or vice versa depending on whatever the character needs. But at the same time, it makes sense. Anyway, uh, this is uh, finalizing everything, and thank you for watching this series, and hopefully it was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any uh, tips for me, uh, chuck them in the comments below, um, and thank you for watching. This was something about tabletop.